I always thought I would have to have something else. So I was studying, then I was working, always balancing my career as an international cricketer. Um, and, you know, I actually dreamt of one day, wouldn't it be awesome if I didn't have to train super early in the morning or super late at night, didn't have to cram everything in and could actually train with a bit more intensity, intensity and more purpose, I guess, and be able to also have a bit of a regular life mm -hmm. and not be so bur burnt out all the time. A 2015 Australian Sporting Commission report found that only 7% of Australian sporting coverage is of women's sport. That's a symptom of a much deeper problem. I took a look at what's being done and what we still need to do to tackle the gap between men and women in Australian sport. Alex Blackwell is an Australian cricketer and captain of the New South Wales Breakers, which just became the first fully professional women's team in Australian domestic sport after a sponsorship deal with Lendlease. Um, they're in the Lendlease Breakers um, as of this week. Yeah. Um, we don't have any full-time workers. Um, we're transitioning into um, an opportunity where if if our athletes would like to be full-time cricketers, they can afford to be full-time cricketers now. Susan Horwitz is a director of Sport New South Wales and former president of Women's Sport New South Wales, an organisation that promotes gender equity in sport at every level. That because there's such a fall off of girls involved in sport in the teen years, in 13 and 14, it's, mm. there's peer pressure, there's, um, uh, you know, not even wanting to get sweaty or some of the stereotypes, sometimes yeah. not support from home, that well, sometimes it's not uh, easy for them to get to training. So we've tried to um, give them some examples of what uh, you're able to do and that's through the champions who have all been schoolgirls um, and have all had some of their struggles. The Sydney Scoreboard is a global index for women in sport leadership founded by academic Dr Johanna Adrian. The idea is that by showing um, women's representation eh, in these sport leadership positions, um, we hope that it's an impetus for um, more women to get on board. Um, for at the moment, uh, it shows that, um, um, generally speaking, uh, the women's representation in leadership positions, uh, in management and in governance, uh, is quite low. When uh, there was an AFS, AFL women's match that was on TV, it was the best, was the the best watch, watch show, less the, except for the finals mm -hmm. of the year. And so I think there's been a, quite a few sponsors that are approaching the AFL to be involved. And uh, with that, it's only good because if that can harness mm -hmm. some more dollars, um, then that's, that's important. So I think it's some good news, but um, it's better than it was. Mm -hmm.